The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everybody, welcome to the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. In today's episode, I'm going to share some information with you that we found out during a CureSMA webinar that was hosted just about a week ago. CureSMA did a webinar where they invited representatives from the FDA and of Exus Pharmaceuticals and they discussed some of the most recent information regarding Zolgensma and the information that I'm about to share with you I think you'll find extremely exciting. But before I do that, please listen to a word from our sponsor and I'll be right back. Thank you. This vlog was made possible by a sponsorship from Avexis, a clinical stage gene therapy company relentlessly focused on bringing gene therapy out of the lab and into the clinical setting for patients and families devastated by rare and life-threatening neurological genetic diseases. To understand how gene therapy is changing the way we see genetic diseases, check out ExploreGeneTherapy.com, www.ExploreGeneTherapy.com. Explore Gene Therapy is a resource for learning more about gene therapy, including its history and how it is being studied. Visit www.exploregenetherapy.com. So first, let me tell you that there is a lot of exciting information coming out regarding Zolgensma. The infants that were on these clinical trials since the beginning are doing unbelievably well. They're meeting milestones that they never would have met without this treatment. Zolgensma replaces the SMN1 gene, whereas Spinraza, the treatment that the majority of us are on, is working on the SMN2 gene. So there's a big difference because even though the information that they're giving regarding the SMN2 gene from Spinraza is good information, it's not as strong and it doesn't give our bodies as much protein as the SMN1 gene. So that's the reason why there's a lot of excitement regarding Zolgensma because it replaces the SMN1 gene. But these infants that have been on these clinical trials since the beginning are up and walking and running, or at least the majority of them are. They're not on any type of ventilator support. They've got head and neck control. And you know what, to be honest with you, they'll probably never know what spinal muscular atrophy is. And for that, that is a true blessing from God. Okay? Now, regarding Zolgensma, there are two clinical trials that I want to talk about. The first one is called STRONG, and I'm listing the identifier number on the screen right now. But don't worry about typing all this information in or writing it down, because I'll put all of this information in the description of the video. So just listen to what I have to say first, okay? If you go to www.clinicaltrials.gov, you can type in these identifiers, and this will give you the information regarding the trials that I'm going to be talking about. First one is strong, and that's the one I believe that they're going through right now with regards to an intrathecal delivery. Now, I don't know what the age limit is going to be, but I believe it's going to be five years of age or younger. But that may change depending on the results that they get and how the FDA writes the label. But based on the strong trial, that information will be used to possibly create another trial called REACH. And the REACH trial is the one that those of us that are adults with SMA can really look forward to because that's the one that should be able to bring Zolgensma to those of us that are older. Now, what age am I talking about? When they were talking in the webinar, they said up to the age of 60 years old. So that should cover the gamut of those of us that have SMA that are on Spinraza. So really look forward to the REACH trial it should start probably by sometime next year, maybe by the end of next year. And then they said it would probably take about two or three years. So those of us that are adults may be looking at maybe 2022, 2023 before the REACH trial ends and we have statistical data that we can use and that they can use to make a determination. But by the way everything looks right now, it looks like that they are gonna go ahead with the REACH trial which should be exciting news for those of us that are adults. So please, continue to keep your heads up, guys. You know, for five years ago, we had nothing. Now we've got two clinical or two viable treatments for SMA, and then we've also got another treatment called Rizdaplam by Roche Genentech that'll be coming out probably sometime next year. And I'll be talking more about that uh, at a later date. So 
again, all of this information is in the description of the video. Okay, so that covered all of the information regarding the Cure SMA webinar, and we hope that you got some information out of it that you can use as well. If you enjoyed this episode of the Morale Monologue, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel. Remember, when you subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of any new videos that we produce. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic day. Do me a favor. This upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.